so we're out here on Yukon again today, and one thing that we kind of were paying attention to yesterday was the amount of times we're seeing Red Fox in the evening over there on Hirschfelden, and it really stemmed from... I can't remember what I was doing, I always forget. I think I was trying to record a video for the render glitch or something like that. Anyway, I was just kind of in the evening on Layton trying to find an animal, and there were coyotes everywhere, so... I sort of got the impression that there's something to do with evening hunts that kind of have predators more active. So we're going to try that out on Yukon, and in the process we'll run around and see what we can actually find out here. So if we can, we'll kind of mostly stay in Red Fox territory, because of course that is still the kind of biggest goal on this map at the moment. But I wouldn't mind going after caribou, grizzly bear, and stuff like that as well. But anyway, how's everybody's Monday going? Hope you all had a good weekend. Sam's in here, Acid's in here. Corpse is in here, gotta work, but good luck. Thank you so much, man. Today is the day. You know what? It was a YouTube stream where we killed our last time in Red Fox. Maybe today is the day. Fingers crossed. Appreciate you, man. How's it going, Kyla? Punisher's in here. How you, how you guys doing? Hope everybody's uh, doing well. Finally got my Rodier Diamond. There you go. Nice, man. Good to hear. Glad you got it. Hey, Paolo. New profile picture, what's that? Changing things. What is this? Got a 266 diamond fallow deer two days ago. Nice, dude. Better than any I've had. I think I'm still stuck. What was my best? 260, maybe out of 267. I don't remember. Big one nonetheless. I need to look into that more, Hunter Man, because that actually looked interesting to me. Went hunting and killed a turkey with an 11 and a half inch beard. Nice, dude. I was talking to my dad about that. Because um, we had, for like two months, about two feet of snow and this really, like, solid, tough ice crust. And I think it probably did kill some of the younger birds. But I feel like it probably wore down a lot of the beards of any turkeys that didn't already have that kind of natural curl into their beard. So I'm curious how much that would affect it, like, just in a couple of months. But... If they're walking across it every day, I'm, I'm sure it would uh, cut a bit off. It's been like six years. All right, well, in uh, you know 2027, I'm expecting something fresh and new. Better be ready. How's Star Keon going? I would say uh, I got closer this morning than I have so far yet, but it was quite a young bird, and I wasn't 100% uh, committed to trying to shoot it anyway, so I don't know. Um... I feel like I'm somewhat making progress, despite the fact that they have been very quiet. So, got a week left, I'm gonna try to get out after the stream and maybe kill one tonight, or at least try to put them to roost and continue trying to put the pieces together. What do you like hunt for in this game? Uh, since we're on Yukon right now, I'll specifically mention Grey Wolves, I like the fact that you never know when you're gonna just randomly be attacked by them, and actually... I should have left Rocky at the tent. Hopefully I remember that when we get to this next one. Because I just, I want to kill as many wolves as we can. We shot that albino male, I don't know, a month ago, two months ago. And I really just want an albino female. And the more wolves we can kill when they're attacking, the better. More respawns, you know, all that good stuff. What's up, Rebecca? How's it going? I saw DD33 get a diamond red fox. I, uh, he's had... Three or four. I'm pretty sure he's had more Diamond Red Fox than me. And what's crazy is, and I mentioned this on Twitch, like this is not any negative thing, but he just got his 50 Red Fox achievements. So he basically, you know, doesn't hunt them, doesn't shoot that many of them, whatever. I've shot, I'm going to guess like a thousand and I have three diamonds. So really goes to show. It's not necessarily about how much time you spend hunting. The med is a really nice, just going to, screenshot that for a thumbnail. Anyway, doesn't matter how much time you spend hunting them, it matters about being in the right place at the right time, basically. I don't know what these guys are doing, but, um, if we could get a shot at that... What are you... Okay, that was fine. Basically, what I was gonna say was I wanted to do that, so not too bad. Starting off with a solid 303 drop shot. I thought we'd bring the 303 today, because I have a lot of hunts where like random things get discovered and I want to try them out more. I feel like we haven't done much since then, 
but we had a hunt where we used 303 on aggressive wolves, and it worked really, really well. Someone said that was his second? I swear he shot, like, four. He had a 1,000 scoring one. I'm almost certain he had a different one before that. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. The premiere screen? It's not even a premiere. Do you... I mean, I guess you can't hear me if you do have the premiere screen, but is it fixed? <laughs> What's up, Gwen? Thank you so much for the super chat. Made a new account. Just got a diamond elk on Silver Ridge Peaks. Starting to fill up my trophy lodge. Nice, man. I actually would really like to do that and, like, make a new account, but... I just have... I don't know, 4,000 hours in. I really don't want to reset. But it's an appealing concept. Hopefully that's going well for you. Change my ink. <laughs> Gross. Okay, let's leave Rocky behind. Hopefully we don't need help tracking anything today, but like I said, if we can just grab any bonus wolf respawns as we're going, that's just going to help us in the quest to get an albino female. So, um, yeah, let's just go between all the lakes. I was going to maybe skip this one, but we'll just kind of make a zigzag pattern. The goal is essentially to do one uh, time reset, so we'll get into fog string time a little bit, about an hour in, then we'll reset back and probably kind of do the same thing. Good deal, Acid. Um, Tennessee Railfan, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. I'm level 60. I don't know. Apparently somebody asked that a lot. Um, you can see that right there, actually. Up at the top right. I saw level 8 piebald red fox, but I lost it. Okay. I'm not sure what map you had it on, but assuming that it was in your single player, since you're asking for tips, um, what I would do is I would make the time somewhere between like 19.30 and 20.30, something like that. So, I don't know, 7.30 and 8, is that the right times? And a 12 hour clock? I think so. So, uh, I would do that, and then I would just really slowly try to check the lakes in the area where you saw it. Like the... all the water near where you saw it. And I say slowly because they're such small animals, they're really easy to miss. But it has to drink somewhere in that area, that's probably the easiest way to locate it because they're really tough. Like, you know, let's say a bear was resting behind this tree, I could look at the tree and see the bear. If there was a red fox just chilling behind here, the tree would hide the entire thing. They're just, they're easier to miss, so I would kind of do that rather, um, what, rather thoroughly? That's probably the word. What's going on, Zo? Thanks for the super chat. Been having trouble getting a diamond black tail or white tail on multiplayer and my map? What can I do? Um, I've had quite good luck with both species in single player. Generally, I've never did any kind of actual like grinding for black tail. I've just kind of gotten diamonds by hunting that map. But with white tail, of course, we did the great one grind and if you're specifically just looking for diamonds of either one of those species, I would just set up a kind of grind thing. A lot of uh, drink zones are shared by them. So if you set up, you know, your tents and tripods, whatever, for blacktail, you can probably use them in some of those spots for whitetail as well. And um, I've got some, like, setup guides on my channel if you want to check those out that might help you. Got that Meat Hunters video with Kylo and it dropping tomorrow. I am excited to see how that does, because it did quite well on the Meat Hunters channel. What we got here? Fox, maybe? Good deal. It's a decent sized male, actually. Uh, what did the thing say? Should be right around here. What have you got so far? I think just the one caribou. We're on the trail of, like, a decent sized red fox right now, and that was at least part of the goal was to find them. Actually, I see him, or saw him. Might be able to get a shot. It <laughs> sort of depends what the gap in the trees here looks like, and it's not the best. He could have turned, too, which we got to be careful about. Uh, Mr. Bumble said, I like your name. Thanks for the super chat. was wondering uh, about your thoughts on soft tip versus polymer rounds. If you think soft tips need a rework or redesign uh, in how they, like, in how they work, basically. Yes, I think they need a redesign. Because when... When quick kill mattered, it actually, like, there was a good reason to use soft tips, and that reason was longer shots specifically would usually get better quick kill 
if you use the soft tip rounds. Now, it's just a vital bonus, and you always want the extra penetration that the polymer tips give in case you're shooting through a shoulder blade or something like that. You can reach in and get that, uh, you know, that vital bonus checked. Where did our fox track go? How is this easier at night? That doesn't make any sense. There we go. Just hide. Anyway, uh, yeah, polymer tips all the way. That's that's my opinion on which you should use. I, I do wish they would redesign it. I'm not sure what would be the best way to do it. But yeah, something needs to change there to make soft tips at all worth buying. Did I miss a super chat? I don't think so. Palo's got that super air bison. I'm jealous of that. That would be a really cool centerpiece in like a um, bison multi-mount. We have our little gold albino, but not as cool. You're not even the same one. We'll shoot that one too, but slow down. Do it. Okay. The male is not far. I'm certain of that. I don't know exactly where it is. It's gotta be. This little dude's got some kind of ninja skills that just disappear. Let's grab this and we'll figure this out. Legit can't see those tracks. It's just, I don't know why. Because you have that like particle and glow effect when you turn your tracks on. And sometimes they just only sort of glow. And it really doesn't help that I have them pink in some like reddish brush. That's kind of my fault. What am I missing, Kyla? What should I be answering that's not a satisfactory answer coming from you? How did you get all the way over there? You're still just a little five, so... Did you guys hear, like, the double sound when we held our breath? Quite an odd little thing. Kind of missed the first time, but got him down. Shoot does only, that's it. You got it. Uh, how long approximately does it take for animals to respawn? I really don't know for sure, but I swear since the Te Aoroa update, they sometimes seem to respawn immediately. I've like shot what I believe is all the fallow bucks in a zone. I go to leave, turn back and look, and there's more fallow just hanging out there like fallow bucks. So I gotta assume they respawned. Pretty sure that's the case. Someone wanted great one advice? Uh, I've got a lot of guides and stuff <laughs> basically talking about that, so I would recommend checking those out. Pretty much, shoot all your bucks, that's, that's what it comes down to. Uh, Black Marlin, thank you so much for the super chat. Hope all is well in your life. All's going pretty well. Hope all's going well for you, too. Really appreciate you. Good to see you once again as well. I didn't even see that we claimed that. Small lad. Anyway, uh, to this lake. Ever since you mentioned that the dollar colors add to the immersion, that's all I think about it anymore? Like with tracks? I think that's what you're talking about. I feel like I said that before. I believe that's the case. Big dono. Black Marlow just an absolute champ, as always. Is that what you said, Palo? You tried. And no, Joshua, I do not. That actually, I guess I'm going to be recording that tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to take to Redfeather with our sort of more serious setup with the whole Boon and Crockett camo and scent cover. I think it'll be good. Looking forward to it. These streams are not good for my stress. Oh dear. No good. Just join any good kills yet? We've actually managed two red fox. They were small, but quite happy with the fact that we've got two already. And a gold yeah. uh, caribou in there, too. David, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you, man. Um, the, the most I'll say is that I've been to Altoona uh, a number of times, but it's a pretty decent drive to go there. You, I, um, I'm not gonna comment on that acid because 
I, maybe there's people that are from there here, but that's not an unpopular opinion as far as I can tell. When will you record the next IRL hunt? I was out this morning actually uh, recording what will be the beginning of it and probably the majority of it unless I have another really good <laughs> hunt here in the next couple of days. But yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with the way things went. I didn't kill a turkey this morning, but I think I got myself sort of some bonus information to maybe do better the next couple of days. Outdoor Boys, thank you for the super chat. Do you think the new map is going to be an Asian map or an African map? with the new clue. I'm trying to figure out what the heck they're talking about. She said, uh, Megal's posted a thing in the Discord, and she said, uh, what if Leighton is the next clue or something? So we had the Gord thing, and then just like a picture of Leighton, and I can't figure what that means. Unless it's a new species that they're adding to Leighton, but nothing fits with a Gord that I can think of. Unless you guys are smarter than me and can come up with something, so... I was trying to maybe wishfully think that it's going to be a North America thing. North American desert kind of, maybe like New Mexico. Like, I don't know what works there. Where would such a gourd thing work in North America? That's kind of where I was trying to go with it, but I don't even know if I'm in the right universe with such a guess. <laughs> You'll say it, Acid. Alright. I mean, I'm not going to disagree i'm just not gonna agree what's up graham can't stay long working night shift tonight good to see you man glad you could stop by appreciate you <laughs> i will attempt the big brain it may take a while i feel it. you gotta charge up to it first Layton is the only map with whitetail so you going with like another whitetail map route i don't feel mm, maybe would that make Layton a clue could it be something somewhere around where the photo was taken? Maybe match up. Come back here. Where did that go? Maybe match up where the mountains are on the photo? I think somebody did that. And if I'm remembering correctly, it didn't see, seem to lead anywhere. I know Jackson Beard was doing all kinds of stuff, and I'm not sure if they really established much of anything. I didn't get to catch the end of that stream, but... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Adam, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Yo, I'm gonna need you and Scarecrow to do a 12 to 24 hour stream sometime soon, if that's possible. Uh, well, I know he has just had his, uh, his kids, so I'm imagining that's more time than he can take out of his schedule at the moment, but once turkey season's over, minus, you know, whatever prep I'm doing to go see Kyla or have her come out here, I should have a little more time than I've had as of late. We'll have to see. We'll try to get something going on. I'm sure another 12-hour stream is, for one of the two of us anyway, not too far down the road, so maybe we can make that work. Quinn, thank you for the super chat once again. What are your thoughts on the ATVs? I use them for quickly doing the missions and to get around the map quickly when I'm lazy, but they spook everything. Yeah, so um, I did that with Medved. When Medved came out, uh, the ATV like DLC was fairly new and I definitely zipped around the map with ATVs and unlocked all the outposts and I still do use it for missions and stuff but I don't do that with new maps anymore and the reason is I'd rather just run around the entire thing and kind of learn where some of the better spots are and <laughs> I wish you would have recorded that Kyle that would have been fantastic anyway yeah I like them, they're good for doing missions quickly and stuff, but they do spook too much for me. Why did you think I was gonna say that, Palo? It's your favorite alert, bottom boy. TK was the champ for letting me use that. Clipped it on Twitch or rewound on their YouTube, I don't remember how I did it, but that's an old alert. It's been there for quite some time. Not the greatest, but got a piebald female Rock Mountain Elk. <laughs> Not too bad. Um, Isaac, thank you for the super chat. I think the gourd means a new season on Layton. 
That would be an interesting twist. I wouldn't mind if they started doing seasonal stuff, but if they were to go that route, I'd want them to, like, 100% go that route. So, either sheds or, you know, rutting activity, whatever seasons they're doing. And assuming it's a gourd and meant to be fall, but Layton kind of is fall already. Just where your brain went? Fair enough. It happens. It happens. Uh. David, thank you once again. It would be cool to get together and hunt some turkeys in real life. We were talking about it um, some time ago. Doing some kind of like meetup hunts. I feel like that would be a massive liability, so that kind of concerns me, but I need to be less bad at turkey hunting before I attempt such things. I don't know what's going on. I just. I like to think I'm a pretty good deer hunter. I just don't have it with turkeys. <laughs> uh, battle scar, Sam? Question mark. Big mail. They also did talk about seasonal stuff in a survey a while ago. Kinda adds up. That uh. looked oddly dark for a female fox. I don't think it's rare, is it? Another one over there. See, there's something to evening hunts, though. Because we go through here all the time, and we just don't see Red Fox out and about, so... I don't know what it is. Excuse me? Why did... Okay. I left clicked. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't shoot, but it's fine. Try to hit that one real quick if we can. That'll kill it. Um, Stefan, thank you for the super chat as well. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Adding seasons would be insane, so I really would love that kind of thing. I'm not sure what you do with spring and summer, like maybe late summer, like Velvet Deer. That would be really cool. We got a gold red fox. I'm proud of our progress. Not something we often manage. The only issue with seasons is like, yeah, deer don't have big antlers. That's that's something that I'm not sure how they navigate. I think it's the 31st Shadow Lord, the turkey season ends. Pretty sure it's exactly a week from today. Can female fox go diamond? The highest a female fox will score is 12.6. And I know this for a really dumb reason. There are, unfortunately, uh, quite a number of hack servers in multiplayer. And I kind of caught on to the fact that I was on one one time on Yukon. Because, like, all the female fox are mythicals. And after I saw two, I knew something was up. So I sort of... I was, um... Chasing them around. Seeing what I could figure out. Shot a female fox. Actually, a couple of them. And saw that they would score 12.6. And I believe whatever, you know, hack thing was going on in that server was just to make all animals max score. So 12.6 should be the max possible for females. It's really hard to trust that... That's why I told the story, because I can't say, you know, with 100% certainty that that's the max score, since that was, in fact, a <laughs> hacked server, but I think that was the, you know, the thing they were using. Stefan, thank you so much once again. Really do appreciate you. How dare female fox score 12.12? .12? It is possible. It is quite possible. Summer would be an issue, maybe shit hunting would be dominant during then, but... Could still shoot deer for game's sake. I feel like if they just called like late summer their normal summer, like make it August or whatever, that'd be fine. Just add a little velvet textured antlers and you're good to go. No caps, caps are trash. They might be using Wiimod? Yeah, it, who knows what it is, but I just know I was on a server like that, and I figured, you know what, I'm not doing any harm by shooting a mythical fox with the 300 to find stuff out, so I was learning. What's up, Carmi? How's it going, man? What if the gourd actually references gorge, as in canyon? Southwest North America has plenty of those? That would be the plot twist of the century to just make it like 
a similar thing to a different word? I wouldn't put it past EW to do something weird like that. Hard to say. Just got a level 1 albino red fox. I feel like that's the ultimate trophy. A level 1. I like it. What does the hunting pressure on the minimap mean? Generally, hunting pressure is something you don't have to worry about. But if you get, like, tier 4 hunting pressure, and when I say tier 4, I mean you shot 4 animals in the same place, you'll get really bright pressure. So, kind of like this area. I think I shot a pack of wolves here. And you can see it's a little bit brighter. And basically, if you have that tier 4, any zones within that tier 4 range will get deleted. And... When I say deleted, really a lot of times they come back to the same place or they just move them not too far away. But they will move them, and if you have a zone in a really good spot, you don't want to delete it. Because they might move into the brush or, you know, somewhere you can't see very well. And that's just obviously not going to help you, so you, you want to avoid that. The other thing is, if you're trying to bow hunt, calling animals in through higher tier pressure is a little more difficult. They're more likely to go nervous. Not go nervous, go alert. Nervous works in any other game that there's not a nervous state. It's fine. What's up, Dylan? What I miss? I'm late, and I'm watching chat. Uh, not too much. We've shot quite a few red fox and one caribou. Uh. Part of the point of this particular hunt, anyway, was to experiment with evening on Yukon, and yet again, we have red fox just out everywhere, so I'm quite happy to see that being the case. And we may do more red fox hunting this way, because I've generally avoided doing red fox videos. Um, just because I think it's annoying hunting at night the entire time. It's kind of frustrating. Like, I don't mind doing it. I've gotten quite used to it doing the red fox grind, but I think it's not the most fun thing to watch. But if we can just hunt them like this and kill a bunch of them while they're resting, and maybe hunt other stuff, like, I'm 100% in. So is that moose, 100% in the ground. Don't know what our deal is. Alright, we'll try to get this thing. Quinn, thank you for the super chat once again. What other games do you play other than the Hunter and other hunting games? Yes, yeah, so obviously Classic and uh, Primal I've played a ton of lately. I might have more hours in Primal in the last two weeks than in uh, Call of the Wild. But the big one lately, other than the Hunter games, has been Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. And if you don't play them, and you're into like any kind of survival, base building, uh, adventure games, would 100% recommend. They're fantastic games. And uh, even more so, I'd recommend avoiding spoilers because it's just gonna be more fun to do it without knowing what's going on. If you wanna check it out, uh, we stream it on Sundays over on Twitch or the Flantro channel, my second channel here on YouTube, has the VODs from that. The entire Subnautica series is there and here in about two and a half hours, the second episode of Below Zero is going to be up. A swamp map? Never before seen? Rigaroo Bayou? No such thing. I know that would be your dream map. I'd be interested if they would do like an, a map that's more dedicated to waterfowl or small game, but they gotta... They gotta perfect waterfowl hunting first. Otherwise, I just can't imagine. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be the best. Look at that fluffy little fella. Just hanging out. I think that said heart shot, but I didn't look. I swear I read the word heart in there. Anyway, uh, Cameron, thank you for the super chats. Um, I'd have to look into it, man. Without knowing what that is, I just... Uh, I don't have much of a comment on it, but I'll check it out for you. How dare you ask us questions, Dylan. Uh, did you get anything good? Nothing yet. We are, so if you watched yesterday's video, I talked quite a bit, mostly towards the end, about evening hunting seeming to produce more predator encounters, and I don't know what we shot. I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no spoilers, so we can look. We've had, is this today? No. We've had five red fox all in the evening here. So there's something to it. I like it. 
Would you like crocodiles on Africa? I think you could do some cool stuff, and I, I know I look at everything through the lens of like what you can do with the Trophy Lodge, but I think crocodiles in a Trophy Lodge could have some cool potential. You could do a lot of multi-mounts, like, you know, crocodile with a springbuck or a kudu or whatever. Uh, I, what are those called? It's like a bearskin rug, but like the crocodile, uh, is that just a skin? I don't know what to call it. It's not a hide, I don't think, but you get my point. The thing that they do with crocodiles, that could be a cool little thing in the trophy lodges as well. What, Palo? I missed something, clearly. I don't know what's going on. What's up, Sled? Evening has a good amount of animals, but hunting in the dark sucks. Yeah, that's the the downfall to evening hunting. Once you get past that 1900 mark, it's less fun. We still have, I don't know, 20 minutes till it gets dark, and then we'll spend about 10 minutes quickly hunting their drink time. Reset. Be good to go. Why aren't we dead? I don't know, Graham. Waterfowl migration? I don't hate it. I'd be for it. Crocodile fur? Yeah, you got it. That's the one. Thanks for that. Gord and Leighton Lakes? The only thing I can think of is they're trying to say North America, but like, why is Leighton the hint specifically for that? Found my max score red fox in the dark. That's what I've been mostly doing is night hunting for them, and I'm probably at 700 kills now. I've somewhat lost track, unfortunately, but I know roughly the area where we are. Still no nines. That said, probably five or six mythicals. You know something that I've um, I've kind of wondered about is if there's kind of different spawns of animals at different times. I don't think is that they despawn necessarily, but it's almost lynx, for example, on Medved. I think this is the best way to to describe this. I just evening, early morning, and night. I see more lynx tracks. I see more lynx in general. Maybe it is simply because they're out out feeding, drinking, more active, whatever. But I don't know. I I would think just by hunting around other areas, you'd stumble upon lynx tracks going to rest. So I don't know. Maybe there's nothing to it at all. But my point was. Maybe if there is a level 9 fox chilling on our map anyway, running around at a different time may allow us to actually find it. I'm missing something there. Flex a mount or a pawn mount, you have to be careful. Clearly something's not clicking in my brain there. <laughs> What's a lynx? It's those things that you're supposed to hunt on Medved with a bow. I think I'm going to do that for... Ooh, when's that going to be? Saturday, I guess? I feel like... Hmm. I might need to switch things around. I might do Classic this weekend. And do Call the Wild tomorrow. J or not... Well, record it tomorrow. It's going to be Wednesday. But uh, just because of the real-life hunting videos, I forgot that was more of the schedule that I went with during hunting season when I was making those videos. Yeah, I think that'll be the way. Bring back Farming Sim Friday. Tell you what, when Farming Sim 22 drops, I don't know if it's going to be YouTube videos, YouTube streams, Twitch streams, what it's going to be. We're going to play it. Promise. I'd like to, like, I don't know. I have a, I have this thing, right? I'd like to do Farming Sim videos. I think I could do it. But the... The way that I would like to do it is the way that, as I understand it, some of the, like, popular Farming Sim YouTubers do it. And I don't want to be, like, kind of stealing their thing, but it's sort of the sensible way to go about it, so... I don't know. I'll have to see if I can find a way to put my own twist on it. Albino or Melisic links are the rarest animals in the game? They gotta be up there. They gotta be. Farming Sim 22, how many are there now? Well, they were pretty much every two years. I think starting with Farming Sim, was it 13 and then 15, 17, 19? I'm gonna say COVID messed them up, and instead of having a 21, they're having a 22. 
I know you can't wait for the farming sim content, Kyla. Your absolute favorite. You want to stack horses again? I forgot about that. That was an interesting day. Those poor horses. Why are the white jelly antlers so unrealistic compared to real life? I think they probably went with, you know, a model of what happened to be like an ape whitetail or something for basically their idea of a trophy whitetail and just kind of ran with that. That's my guess because you see that with other species. I'm trying to think of one that sticks out and I can't immediately bring any to mind. But there's been, like, pictures posted in the discords and stuff beside, like, okay, a real-life picture of a trophy animal beside the diamond version of it in-game, and they're often very close. I do think they just find reference images, and I think they happen to go with, like, a 16-point whitetail, and that's just what they have is all of them. Minecraft with a 24-hour stream if you play with me. I ain't trying to do it by myself. Been trying to get me on Minecraft for years now. Wait, what did Asset say? I missed that one. Oh, Minecraft Mondays? It's rough when we've been doing Monday Call of the Wild streams for, like, over three years to, uh, you know, change that up, but I suppose there's ways to do that. Modded Minecraft? Do you want to watch me not know what I'm doing for 12 years? Is that the idea? Poor Palo. <laughs> Have you tried to play Ark? The reason I've not played Ark is because people that know me tell me I will get addicted to it and I don't have time for it. And I think they're right. Because any game like that where there's progression stuff that you have to do, I sort of don't put it down and it's not good. Like when I played a lot of Rocket League, um, which it's been over a year now since I've played it, which I'm quite pleased about. But it 100% cut into like some of the time I should have been spending either grinding Call of the Wild or whatever. And yeah, I just, I don't feel like I can afford to be doing that. So I try to avoid games that would do that to me. That said, uh, I don't know if any of you guys play or have played Heyday, that mobile game, like mobile farming game. I know it can be one that's like super time consuming and we used to, uh, like my brother and sister and I used to have like a little, whatever they were called, village or something in that. And we were just talking about making another one of those. So I don't know. I guess it depends on the game. That's a max weight Boyson. He's probably in there. That might've been him. Did anybody see what that level said? I didn't. It was a male. Oh, it's a four. It's a big four, but a four nonetheless. Oh, awkward. Kind of forgot that's the gun that I brought. The fact that you can chase Plains Bison down really easily is kind of the reason I have it, but I uh, think that's going to be difficult. We'll try, I guess. Might as well. Story time indeed. I'd never mod again if the 24 hour was on here. I feel like I'm not going to do a community tab post for the next one because we had like 800 people in that uh, Twitch chat and it was just going insane the moment that we left Call of the Wild. Was not good. All right. Quite kind of you, sir, to stop right when I got aimed. That was quite nice. Should have been a long shot. I'd be modding it myself, just turning on 12 minute slow mode. As if I, well, can you adjust that midstream? I know how to do it before the stream. Heyday is pretty boring. Uh, yeah, early on it's a little tougher to get into, but it's one of those things where you can be doing other stuff and just quickly get on it and do something and continue on with your life. It's that kind of game, I think. 
Uh, probably should have paid attention to tracks here. It's wolf tracks. Not an albino. Where the heck? It's gotta be right here. Blood, where are you? There it is. Call the Wild gets boring after a while, though. Gotta switch it up. Indeed. Are you talking about, like, with the stream when everybody was, um, kind of just really consistently asking us to go back to Call the Wild when we were in Classic? When you're streaming for 24 hours, um, you just have to go with whatever's fun at the time. Or you start to, I'm not going to say resent it, but not want to, it, it makes it feel like twice as long, so just got to go with it. I have not finished story mode on Red Dead. Eventually, after the Subnautica Sunday kind of series is over, I'm kind of considering doing a Red Dead playthrough on Twitch. We'll have to see, but I think that could be a fun thing to do on Sundays. Might be a little more fitting for, like, uh, the YouTube channel as well, so might steal some clips and make little videos. Maybe any time that we're shooting the legendaries. Gotta head out and go to work. Good luck. Thank you, man. We'll hopefully catch you in the next stream. Off to this lake, and then we really haven't... I mean, I guess it's fine, because we're going to do two runs. We really haven't gotten into, like, the dead forest area at all, but that'll leave us pretty much an entire hour to do it on the second run. No Rocky along. Should we get attacked by wolves, I want them to not get spooked by them so we can shoot them all and get our respawns. I kind of think, you know, I don't want to say that having the scent hound has been a bad thing. Rocky's been great, but I kind of think our wolf response have slowed ever since then because he keeps spooking them off. That would have been great, Kyla. I really wish it was. I'll have to find a way. I think that would be a really fun thing to stream as well. What's up, Lucky? Pet turtles in Call of the Wild? Little, like, uh, shoulder turtles? Be like a parrot. I'd like it. I shot a level 7 female red fox, and it was a gold. Is that normal? It's normal, but it's relatively uncommon. You're usually only going to see them as high as level 6, but they actually can get all the way up to level 8. I've heard of that, and in general, people seem to not understand that you do play and stream other games. I'm just here for the chat and to say absurd things. I mean, I think there's probably some degree of just generally some people have subscribed specifically for Call of the Wild content and then just want to see that, but yeah, there's, you know, uh, always three videos and two streams of Call of the Wild per week, so it's good to do some other stuff too. A troll elk and a huge bighorn and pronghorn, best day ever, nice. Good stuff, sounds like Silver Edge Peaks treated you well. I did know that dynamics, there's one up here, Logger's Point, there's a Timbergold Trails one too, <laughs> or Timbergold something. Trapper's Peak, that's a Red Feather Lodge as well. Uh, Justin, thank you for the super chat. If you're ever in Lower Michigan, you should come with us on a duck hunt. The diver ducks are insane around here. I do want to actually do some kind of duck hunting sometime, I think that'd be fun. I have done so little like shooting things out of the air, the only thing has been doves, but I imagine if I can hit a dove, I can probably hit a duck. I think they're fly in similar speed. Um, I would need a Elgato or something, Palo. At that point, buying a several hundred dollar thing to record it, just get Kyla PC. You know, just make it happen. Surprised you don't have a Melanistic Great One yet? I need to... I want to get back on that whitetail grind, but... If... Now they got me questioning things, talking about seasons and stuff, but... If this is a new map, 
they're kind of hinting at. I really want to get the Diamond Red Fox out of the way so I can just not feel almost obligated to head back to Yukon and keep grinding for it because if it's a new map, this is basically guaranteed to be several new species and just stuff that's going to have to be moved around in the lodge and I want to have the Diamond Fox in there so we don't have to worry about it. What is Team Flinter? It was actually, it was like an old thing that we did. So, the Schuster Army uh, thing that we talk about, basically, like, the community as a whole uh, is sort of known as the Schuster Army. And it used to be Team Flinter back before we had that Schuster Army name. And I've kind of just kept the hashtag because it was fun back then. There was, at one point, I did quite a number of challenges and stuff like that. And there were, like, comments about being on, like, hashtag Team Flinter or whatever when I would do stuff like versus Aggie or those sorts of things. That's kind of where that originated. No, what you do is get the Xbox app on your PC, then turn the option of stream to PC on. You can use the PC as normal, but play via the Xbox. Like, the Xbox screen is on the monitor. I mean, I'll try. You might need to walk me through that in Discord, but Team Flooper, there you go. Uh, anything good yet? Nothing really, Baseball Star. Couple of Red Fox. Um, one pretty good size, level 4 Bison. And we're just kind of getting towards the evening more and more here. It's interesting, what I would consider better kind of red fox territory we've seen less of them maybe I'm too close to the water I'm not sure need to play snow runner I've looked into that game it looks kind of fun but I don't know it's uh not necessarily my type of game so I'll have to see the call of the wild battles with Zaggy chasing a red deer with the 223 or crazy things such as that Coffee. Oh, for uh, what the heck's it called? I almost called it Gen Zero. The other one, Second Extinction. You'll do fine. <laughs> Coffee with the hard eyes. Would there be any lag with that, Palo? Is like, because if it's streaming to my PC, unless it just runs it via, I don't know. I have to see. I have all kinds of weird stuff disabled with the Xbox app because I would get like spammed messages and that would make alert sounds and regardless of the fact that I had it turned off, it would do that during the stream. I thought that was going to be a fox track but just is a small wolf. Are you a mashed potato or baked potato kind of guy? I like potatoes that I can drink through a straw. 'Twas okay when I played Fable 2 that way. I'm wondering though, is that a multiplayer game? I don't even know what it is. But I'm wondering if like we'd get some kind of desync lag stuff going on. It was on my TV and my monitor, so I just turned off the TV. So it sounds like it's streaming to it. Yeah, I mean we can try. We can see what happens. Would uh what did you control it with? You control it with a controller, I assume, not the keyboard. I'm trying to learn all this stuff. Potato juice. The dogs never came to me on Call of the Wild. What can I do? Do you mean the bloodhounds? And if so, do you have the DLC? Sorry, I'm late. Had a zoom. What did I miss? Eh, just a bunch of kind of average kills. We're hunting out here, obviously, in the evening on Yukon, and we've seen a decent number of Red Fox, so I've been quite pleased about that. Through a straw, I don't know, it was some goofy thing that uh, Kyle and I were looking at, I think this morning or last night. Uh, it had to be this morning. Was it? Maybe yesterday morning? Recently, we'll call it that. 
There we go. And he's probably not too far away. Interesting. Um, I guess it's because it's a later rest zone. Oh, that's an old one too, so he's maybe going to be further than I thought. But I have spent quite a lot of time in that tower looking around for fox zones. And I guess there's just one right at the base of it. That was this morning? My goodness. I guess waking up at 4 did that to me, but it just feels like that was forever ago. Just got a 0 0.02 off troll to be That is unfortunate. What is this circle of tracks? Excuse me. Where's the correct one? That one over there, maybe? I don't know. Uh, how do I get the DLC? It should be like in the Xbox or PlayStation Store, whatever you uh, play on. Oh, run track, you must have been right there. Go. Cool. Speeds things up anyway. Should be somewhere right out here. I have the night vision binoculars and I almost feel like they're gonna be better. Let's see. Uh, don't be blind if this is bright. That's not too bad. It should be in view, they don't run that fast. Might just be... Yeah, did he turn a little bit? It is a six, but in all likelihood we're gonna shoot it right in the back of the head, so... Might be ruining this one. Or we could shoot above it. Oh no, we got it. Never mind. Just fine. What loadout? Uh, currently running a bit of a weird one. 454, 303, 243, and 22. The interesting thing about Yukon is the only species that requires a level 9 weapon is the Plains Bison. And if you spook them, they run so slow you can basically run up alongside them with the 454 and get a nice close shot anyway. So having the 303 for, uh, you know, charging wolves is nice. 243 obviously for the Red Fox. And the... 22 is always there should a rare or diamond harlequin pop up. Sounds good, Graham. We'll catch you hopefully in the next one. Sad panda. Today feels forever long even when I napped. You still got up kind of early, so it makes sense. It does feel like quite a long day, so I'm glad it's not just me. What's your favorite diamond? As far as ones that I've gotten, the Piebald Diamond Whitetail. I almost said Plain Spicen for some reason. I don't know where my brain was, but the Piebald Diamond Whitetail we shot live on Twitch. It's got a special little place in my heart being a live stream super rare. Started full school days today, I'm dead. I can imagine. Glad you make it to this stream though, hot diggity boy. Best way to get pistol score, oh man. We talked about this. I think 22 pistol, like, duck hunting or goose hunting may be it. I'm really not sure. Ever since they introduced a new nervous state, the way that I talked about getting pistol score in a video way back kind of doesn't work as good. It still works. Just not how it used to. Any diamonds today? Nothing yet, but we're only about halfway in. We're getting into Red Fox drink time, and I think just because of where we are, if we can encounter this one quickly and, you know, get it down, we'll probably just sort of run around this, excuse you, I think we found him, run around this edge of the lake, hunter drink time for, you know, five minutes, whatever it is, and reset and continue on. Oh. Where are you sneaking off? I see you. How dare you. A five. All these eight to 12 kgs end up being fives. It's quite lame. I think the way he ran, we may have hit him. I guess we got him the second time. It is quite lame, though. Like, you see that 8 to 12, it could be up to level 7. They're almost always 5s. Tis unfortunate. Is there any diamond you do not have? Um, we've had diamonds of every species. Uh, but... I don't have a diamond red fox on the new scoring system, so... It's been since much longer than this, but at least since February 2020, 
No diamond red fox. And really, I'm gonna say maybe even like mid to late 2019 was the last one. It was on a Yukon stream, but I can't remember really when that would have been. Yukon didn't come out till June 2019, so it must have been like late that year. Hasn't even been an hour yet. Yeah, it's just like we're talking about. It's a Monday, it makes sense. What does that say? Why should you never run in front or behind a car? Because if you run in front of it, you'll get tired. If you're behind it, you'll get exhausted. That is a 12 out of 12 dad joke, and I'm proud. Well done. Zaggy thinks it'll be Africa 2.0, but the African gorge look way different than the one in the game. Are there ones that would be specific to a certain area? And if so, is there anything that can be gathered based on that? It's not just a Monday, it's my day off. What are days off? I don't understand. Hmm. Wasn't aware Bison rested this far over here. I guess I have the zone, but I didn't know they were here. Good to know. You are, Kyla. When was the last time you saw a legendary red fox? I specifically remember texting Kyla that I was chasing one. Uh, what day was that? I think it was the... Oh, uh, the day of the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs. So, January? And it was the troll? That was in multiplayer, by the way. Not even, not even on my own grind. Need to find a new funny? Where do you find those to begin with? Praying for Mexico with pheasants? Why did we have a conversation about pheasants recently? Oh, cause, yeah, cause Rack calls me pheasant, but spelled with an F. That wasn't relevant, never mind. What's up, Two-Face? The one in the game is the type of gourd that grows in Mexico and some parts of Texas. Okay. So let's run with that. They said Leighton is the clue for the second thing. So what the heck does that mean? Mexico and Texas. That would basically mean North America anyway, because that's what I thought. I thought maybe the Leighton clue was just trying to say it's a North America thing, but if the gourd already indicates North America to begin with, I don't know. I don't have enough brain power for this. Facebook, sense make. Sense make. What is your favorite small male? Uh, we shot a minimum score Plains Bison here on Yukon, and the minimum score for Plains Bison happens to be 12. And I just think that's fantastic, and that's my favorite small male. It's one of the biggest possible small males in terms of, you know, overall size and weight, but my favorite nonetheless. Gonna find food? Sounds good. What caliber would you recommend for hunting a whitetail in Call of the Wild? 30 out 6, uh, 303. Honestly, those two are the best. 7 mil or 270 will get the job done. Leighton and the Gourd water bottle have a lot of water. Yeah, but I wonder... Mexico and Texas don't. Unless it has nothing to do with Mexico or Texas. Texas actually does have a good amount of water. But, you know, not the place you would immediately think of. Small male. Do you prefer the 303 or 30 odd 6? Uh... Specifically the way you phrased that question, probably the 303. But if I could take the M1 because it does fire 30-06 ammunition, I would take that. 
I really like the fast follow-up shots. That's a big deal for grinding whitetail and stuff. Minus the hiking part. I should have known. That's my fault. What do you think the best loadout overall is for classes 1 to 9? What I tend to go with, if I'm just trying to... Like, let's say I'm going to go play multiplayer and just hunt different maps and everything. I'm probably running 300, M1, 243, and 22. If you want to get more, uh, like, collars and maybe med kits or whatever in your inventory, 7 mil, 243, and 22 works just fine. You only got to carry three guns. Hey, Tux. Busy, but I might stop in later. Sounds good, dude. Appreciate you. A map in the Appalachian area? Um... Here's the issue that I see with that kind of map. We already have basically all the big game that you could get. You could maybe get something like Bobcats in there. I, I don't know, Eastern Turkeys. That's not a big game, but, you know, close enough. Whitetail would be something we have. Black Bear something we have. Coyotes. Like, I'm not sure they can do enough to make it new and interesting to really be able to sell that map. That's where I see it being a potential issue. What gun do you think is good for red fox hunting? I would say, unequivocally, the 243 is the best. I... Yeah, the entire red fox grind, I've shot like 700 red fox with it, and it does quite well. What about muskox? For what? Like a potential species for them to add in the future? I would like if they would do that. I think it would be cool. Try to look and see where... Let's go back here. It's uh, after 7.30 now. This is the last place we shot a mythical red fox. I'm really not convinced animals respawn in the same area, but we've shot two mythicals here now, so I want to check and see what respawn... Oh, well, it might be down that way. This will be interesting. The wind's not good. It depends on where it's at. And we'll still watch over here. I don't see any fox spawning in. So I would say the one that's meant to drink here is just way over here. But anyway. This seems to be an area that maybe has the potential to spawn higher level fox or something. So I wanted to look. And then we'll go back to daylight. Welcome back, Rebecca. I've been using the 6.5, 300, 243, and 22. The 6.5 will get the job done absolutely fine. And it's actually quite nice. It's a little more flat shooting than like the M1 or the 303. It's just, it lacks a little bit of power, but as long as, you know, you either once the render glitch is fixed, it doesn't matter, or as long as you make sure you get close enough to avoid the render glitch due to the fact that the animals are going to run a bit farther with any non-drop shot, you should be fine. The new map might be Hawaii? That would be a plot twist that I'm not prepared for. Uh, boy. Okay. Shouldn't have turned around looking for tracks, or looking for fox rather, because it's making looking for tracks kind of difficult. I mean, worst case scenario, we just go back there during their drink time and find them, but sure would be nice to just stumble into his track and know what we're working with. Do you miss the old scoring system? I... I do and I don't. Max score animals were cool, and we still have some of those on the new scoring system, but those will slowly but surely all be faded out eventually. That's our guy. He's a small lad, but we'll try to find him. But anyway, uh, I like that, you know, you're not always just looking at the those same numbers. You're not always looking at, when you shoot like a somewhat decent animal, it's not always 900 or high 800s or something. They have their individual top scores. It's more realistic that way. Same as, you know, classic. They use the Boone and Crockett scoring system. You just sort of get to know all those scores for a good sized animal. 
I do prefer it like that. Excuse me, binoculars, don't do that. But, yeah, like, I do miss having the maybe this is a 1000 moment with every diamond. Access to your deathly acid, that's the only one I'm certain of. I mean, it depends on what kind of hot pocket it is, Hunter Mint. Some are easier than others. Why is that happening? My right click must be dead. That's the side of the hill. So that's the second time I went to shoot, and it just didn't. It must be trying to scope me out right at that time. Seeing the 1000 was so satisfying. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing that, you know, is definitely missed with the new scoring system. As good as I think it is. Okay. Interesting. Eventually he'll be out from behind there. And now he's dead. Alright, we'll pick this up and reset back to... Pretty much like 1500 I think will be good. Just join anything good? Nothing real special so far. It's been interesting though for sure to be out like in the evening and... I mean this time is the time we hunt a lot for the Red Fox grind now, but... Just sort of seeing what's out and about at a little bit of a different time is kind of uh, something we don't often do. Let's just go straight to that. We'll be wrapping up then before it even gets dark out. And I'm proud of myself. Didn't blind anybody with the incorrect binoculars. Okay, so I want to spend more time in the dead forest, but I want to make sure animals get into their zones first. So... Uh, 1500, there's not really a whole lot going on. Let's, in that case, just see if we can smoke a couple of ducks. Smoked. Do you think it's better now that you don't have to do a can check for every diamond or rare? Yeah, that was something that just wasn't good. Like, it would have been one thing if that was something you could actively check at any time. Like, if you could open your map, and up here with your XP level and cash was your current consec, then it would have been fine. But having to go shoot another animal to find out, that wasn't... It, it just didn't make any sense. You are correct, Acid. I used to have those... That was basically my diet in college, was Philly Cheesesteak Hot Pockets. They're great. Uh, how do I take the site off without going into the inventory? So on PC, it's super easy. It's just a middle mouse click. So you can, you know, forever just be switching that on and off. But on console, it's just a little more difficult. You have to, what is it, press up on the D-pad and then... Oh boy, I haven't been on console in a while. Up, over, and then A, or up, up, and then A, maybe it is? Or I guess X, if you were on PS4. Up, up, and then the normal button to... You know, select an option, so A or X. No albinos, no rares. We'll take our one decent one. You haven't had one. I guess I'll have to get you some of those next time. Just so you can experience the best Hot Pockets ever made. Did that? Okay. Right on the edge of the water. Are the expansions worth buying in Call of the Wild? I only have the Bloodhound. So what I would do if I were you is I'd probably go ahead... Excuse me? Mmm, that's annoying. Oh, it's a male. Okay. We'll go that way. Anyway, um, I'd probably go ahead and buy the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack. And then the maps can be played in multiplayer without actually owning the DLC. So I would try the maps in multiplayer, see which ones you like, and then buy... Uh, you know, whatever maps you like. Are you saying you're surprised, Kylo, or I am? I was just surprised because they're good. And that's the problem with that brand, Palo. No hot pockets. Just found a five bison. Nice. Hopefully, he's cooperative in a big male. Am I, like, blind? Kinda. Off by 
12 feet. Or like 12 miles. What animal do you have the most diamonds of? I actually don't know. What would it be? What would we have the most diamonds of? Cinnamon teal? Axis deer? Black buck stuff that were super common diamonds? Moose would be way high on that list. Yeah, probably one of those, but I really don't know. What is diamond for bison? 221.5 or something like that? Plains bison, I assume? Euro bison, I think, is like 270. If you have the M1, but not the 30 out 6, do you still get the 30 out 6 ammo? You do. What's your accuracy? Like in my stats? Not good. <laughs> um, how do you see that? Not there. There we go. Rifles, 68. Handgun, 62. Shotgun, obviously, is broken. Bows at 45. I know that seems awful, and some of it's because I'm often having to use the longbow or the recurve and taking stupid shots, but what I did with a lot of the missed shots with the bows was when rabbits came out, I would just shoot the ground with the bow, and that would opt to make them warning thumb. I don't know if I was just not good at the game yet, or like why I couldn't find rabbits without doing that, but that was the way I would often find them. How do you like your steak? Like medium rare or something like how do you like it? I'll eat them just about anyway, but usually like medium to medium well. I'll have the medium rare, like, it don't matter. I generally say whatever is easiest for whoever is cooking it to cook. Thank you, Gaming Central. English or Flinglish only? I'm glad that you made an exception for me in my own stream. <laughs> Appreciate you. Which fast food nuggets do you like the most? Uh, I must say Chick-fil-A has opened my eyes to the world of possibilities with chicken nuggets. Shout out to Kyla for that one. I like my steak not cooked in the middle, or I would if I ate steak. You like it mooing? Is that what, is that what you're saying? How big is the 244.5 bison? It is exactly one below the max score. Well, thank you, Brian. I appreciate you. Wait, I like it not pink in the middle. My brain has died. I was wondering why you said you like it not cooked in the middle. That seemed like a weird thing to say if you didn't eat steak. But, uh, yeah, you know. That makes a little more sense. Twelve chicken nugs, indeed. Uh, I'm sure you'll remember it all the above. Somebody asked me what my favorite small male was earlier, and it was the 12 scoring plains bison. I was just, like, literally earlier before the stream. I was telling Kylo about that when you had your whole 12 deal going on. And I got a 12 scoring planes bison. It was fantastic. Why are frogs so happy they eat what bugs them? I agree with that one. Dad jokes are 12 out of 12. I like it. Oh. This has always been a really good spot for me for Fox uh, rest zones, but they don't drink here anymore, which is quite odd. Like, if they rest right there, excuse you, run away from me. How dare you. Anyway, if they rest right there, why do they not drink right here? That was too far forward. Uh-oh. That hit the tree. Bad shooting Flantro has entered the chat. There's also a bigger fox track there, but we'll deal with this one. 12 scoring bison during that time. Like, I couldn't... I didn't want to talk about it in the video, so I didn't make a reference to that particular situation, but that was why I left. Just killed me that that was going on. Kylars, I like it. Do you know when they're getting rid of the dog being able to push you? I don't, but hopefully sooner rather than later that is quite an annoying little, uh, you know, bug slash feature they got going on. Not sure why it's possible to begin with, but it, I don't imagine it was something that was intended, more so probably an accidental thing that came along with them. 
Man. That was not my best work. Can female fox make diamond? Female fox max at 12.6, so no. What is that aim? It wasn't good. It was real bad. Not the fox aim we need around here. Oh, true all the above. If they make it so dogs can't push you, what if you can't push the dogs? Then we're gonna really have to require trophy shots because that's the only way to take like a sort of de facto trophy shot now. What is the deal with that? All right, we'll deal with this real quick. Ain't about to have it. Where you at? I saw your track earlier. I know you're not too far from here. Wait, oh, this tent's not where it used to be. Oops. Should be over on that side. Somewhere. I'm really not sure how we went through there and didn't spook it before. I see it. Just hanging out. Calm as ever, I don't know. Quite odd. Why am I fake? Oh, are you fake? Yes. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but sure. I like all the for nows, Kyla. I like it. Make him take a shot with every shot missed? Even at ducks with a 22? I mean, if you think I wouldn't just be way more careful, <laughs> I would figure it out. A few days ago, you got a level four wildebeest. They're, they're one of those weird, kind of like older species. A lot of stuff now, like level four mountain goat, pronghorn, elk, uh, chamois, seek a deer, like a bunch of stuff makes diamond below max level. But back then, they were one of the few that did. And they still continue to do that. Maybe when they get true racks or true horns, that'll be changed. Sounds good, Dylan. We'll catch you hopefully in the next one. There's just fox barking everywhere. Where's that one at? Problem is, they're often resting and small, so they hide. I feel like we need to kind of move the direction that I want to go here. So because that was another female, unless we just can see it, we'll probably kind of let that one go. Otherwise, we're going to get sucked back into the whatever what's that like red underbrush called I know it's like the crimson plain and stuff but I'm sure there's a name for it have the devs put anything out about the bug fixes I think didn't they release like a list of upcoming fixes or something like that I seem to recall that being a thing they did Every time you use caps, a diamond is removed from the map. I agree. Where are your favorite places for Fox? The Crimson Plain here, this is all during your drink time, by the way. Crimson Plain, the swamp has become one of my new favorites. And then Wolfhead Lake and this little lake here. That sort of spooked me. I wasn't ready for that. Willows or alders, maybe? Would it be willows? I just think of the weeping willow trees. That just messes with my brain as soon as I hear the word or read it. Make me do a posture and hydration check. I got you. What's up, Billiam? How's it going, dude? I see that, Ryan. My goodness. Opinion on the new map coming out soon? tell you what, we were talking about it in here and I got myself less confident that it's a new map than I was before we were talking about it. Somebody mentioned maybe it being like a seasons thing and it started to make sense in my brain, so I don't know. I just hope that it is in fact a new map because we need it. I'm at the point where like I'm enjoying doing Primal, I'm enjoying doing Classic. Call of the Wild, the amount of times we're doing it per week is still fun, but I'm at the point where I don't really know what to do. And that's basically what happens. 
usually four or five months after a new map comes out. I sort of run out of ideas for a while. So I'm looking forward to a new one coming up. What's up, Jay? Can you do some more Hunting Sim 2? Yeah, after we finish the Primal series, I think we're going to go back to Hunting Sim 2 for at least like two or three videos. I want to really give it a proper shot again. I didn't miss it, Billy. I saw you were in there and I was just... I saw you were a traitor. And I left. I forget what you guys were even playing, but I saw it. The stuff they hunt them in IRL looks like willows and blueberry bushes. Okay, I got you. Interesting. Unmod Billy. I would right now just for memes like I did with Aaron. Well, that was an accident, but uh, I, because Streamlabs is dumb, they log me out. Make it difficult. It's fine. Just found a level 2 male fox? It's quite unfortunate that those exist. I had two level 1 male fox on this grind so far, and a couple of level 1 females. That's what it was, 7 days to die, yeah. Do you turkey hunt in real life? I do. Went out this morning, in fact. I keep on watching the weather here, because I think I'm going to try to get out this afternoon still. I'm very tired, so we'll see how that goes. But I have a pretty darn good idea of where what is unfortunately quite a young bird has been roosting and stuff. But I got a week. Like, I'll shoot a Jake. I'm content with shooting a Jake. So if I can figure out where he's roosting, I think he's been there this whole time and I've just been missing him. I'll shoot that one if I can get close. Me's favorite food be willows? I always figured they like cheese just because it kind of rhymes. Dang. Unfortunate. Did you get any toms? No toms. I haven't even seen a mature bird. Unless... So, uh, the video drops tomorrow on this channel, but those of you that have seen the most recent uh, video of mine on the Meat Hunters channel, I had like a second or two of footage of a gobbler or maybe a Jake like a hundred yards away and my dad thought probably it was a mature bird because it looked like it had a blue head and he's got a point like it does so maybe that was a, a Tom but yeah I've mostly been looking at Jake's I really I can't figure it out uh, without too many spoilers the Jake that I saw today, which again is like, I call Jake's probably up to two and a half years old, maybe three and a half, or not, I guess not half, it's like deer because it's spring. Okay. Two years old, three years old, whatever. Like, until they get maybe about a six inch beard, I'm basically calling them Jake's. This one has like a two inch beard. Like, it's pretty little. But he's just hanging out with a hen. I'm like, where are the mature birds that should be kind of kicking him out of there because they they came off the roost together. I don't know if we just don't have them around right now or what the deal is, but it's been difficult. DD's real life turkey? Yeah, I did. That was an unfortunate shot. It happened. Like, it's so easy to have that arrow drop down. He thought he hit too far right, though. I thought he was too low. But either way, that I just wish that I could get footage like that. If I could just get a turkey to strut for me on film, I'd be so pleased. Go for a 12 inch beard. Can I just kill, like, can I get more than a fleeting footage of a bird with a beard first and then I'll worry about a 12 inch beard? It's, it's been rough, dude. Like I've gotten, I got the one on film today a little bit too. So I'm quite pleased that I've had turkeys in what's going to be all three videos. There may be a fourth video if I really hunt my butt off between Friday and Monday. Um, for not this week, but like the following week. But anyway, yeah, last year I didn't do any turkey hunting content because I never got a turkey on film. But, uh, yeah, at the very least, I've had him on camera. Does he acid? That's a big male. We had them around here. I just, I don't know what happened. Where is he? Is he, like, across? Either he's, like, underwater. The thing was off. There he is. Well, a small male. I always get... Do we even hit that? 
we might hit the ground in front of them. I always get so, uh, you know, filled with anticipation, I guess, at the thought of every fox being a potential level 9. When they're like a 4, it is quite a letdown. The law is if you actually get a good video of it, you'll DD shot it. Well, I'm trying to use a shotgun and I still can't manage it. The one today that I, like I raised my gun at it and then sort of decided better of it. You'll see it in next week's video. But um, even that, I didn't get very good footage of. I was quite annoyed at that part when I looked back at it. Boring. Excuse you. How rude. Just because there's no red deer on that map? How could you? What 303 should I get? Burnished or polymer? I have the... Whoa, okay. I have the mission one, so I can't remember which is which. I think the burnish is the one that I like. Just for fun, we're going to go and see if these wolves will say hi. I'm always curious about, like this area way up in here. I know there's red fox there, so maybe we'll just run around, see what's up there. Have you killed 16 planes, bison? In total? Probably. Red deer, best deer? I mean, they're good deer, I'll give you that. That's not a wolf. Mule deer, best deer? I, I do quite like the mule deer. I am quite partial to them. What's up, Joe? Sorry, I made no worries, dude. Glad you can make it. We're just out here testing out the evening thing, and it does seem to have an effect. Like, we're killing a good number of red fox. We'll spook that is quite lame. We'll just sort of get some tracks here. There's a max. Should we follow it? Sometimes it doesn't take that long. Let's just see. See if we can get on it. Follow closely by Fallow and then Seeker. I want to go for a Seeker Deer Hunt again, Toon. Uh, <laughs> Toon? Too soon? Soon too? I don't know. Toon. Less words. Been a little while. Gonna have to do it in multiplayer because I think they're still not respawning, but we'll find a way. Eric, thank you for the super chat. Do you ever hunt for fox at the easternmost lakes in Bridgewater Flats? I found a diamond fox drinking there a few months ago. Where is Bridgewater Flats? Thanks, that forest. Uh, easternmost lakes? Yes. Not too long ago, I kind of discovered that they drink up there, so I haven't spent a bunch of time there, but... Yeah, uh, it's a really good spot. There's a bunch of fox in that area. I don't know how I was unaware that they drank there, but it's quite good. You should do a The Hunter Classic Trophy Lodge tour? That's been asked for more and more lately. Um, maybe we'll do that. We have a 190 whitetail in there now. I think I have a mule deer that I shot that I never actually put into a video, so maybe I could kind of include that too. That could be a decent little way to do it. I probably don't have the video of it anymore though. Caps are capitalized letters? Yes. All these commons. Lame. One day we'll get that albino female. It'll happen. Speaking of it'll happen, I think, looking at the way the terrain is here, we ought to get a look at whatever's here. Oh. Not in the way I wanted to. Are they running back at us? Or are they just... I guess they turned? Five, where is the big male? How is the big male the least visible one? <laughs> You'd think it would be the easiest one to spot. No such luck with that. Where is he? Unless these are different ones? Am I, like, blind? Should be right. Excuse me. Got borked at. Where? What? No. I'm so confused. Alright, I guess either that max weight one was not with these. Maybe that was the case. I mean, not 
really a big deal. We'll just sort of continue on our run, but that's kind of lame. No question is a dumb question. I mean, your mother is a teacher, and I think she would agree with that. I'm proud of you. Favorite animal to kill? Uh, wolves are high on that list. I'll tell you what, though. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's got to be more here than we spotted. Um, since we started the mountain goat grind, one of the most satisfying things is like a 300 meter heart shot on a moving mountain goat. I just love it. Something special about it. I also like shooting straight through a log because they don't have hitboxes. Do a video with Kendall Gray? I just don't think our content styles would mesh very well. Like, as much as he's definitely doing good things for the Call of Wild community as far as giving it exposure, I just don't, like, I can't see it working, unfortunately. Oh, is Kylo? What do you mean? You're doing great. Which are your favorite three maps and why? Layton because of antlered animals. That's my number one. I really just tend to enjoy hunting like antler species the most. And Layton has the most of them. Varanga, mostly because it's all stuff that I just really have no opportunity to hunt in real life. Maybe someday, but it seems like this far off place. And I just like all the species they put on there. I think they did a really good job with spe species selection. Minus uh, Lesser Kudu. I really wish they would have done graders, but, you know, win some, you lose some, I guess. And number three. I'm going to have to look at the thing. Silver Ridge Peaks probably would be my number three. And it's, it's the species selection, mostly. I think Pronghorn and Mule Deer on the same map is good. Having Elk, uh, the Rockies is, like, a really, really big thing. I like them a lot. And... Yeah, the models, like the Mountain Goat and Pronghorn look really good. They did, like I said, quite well at the Elk. Kind of all that goes into it. Heart training moose and bison is the most satisfying thing ever. That's a good one, too. Specifically bison, or like Cape Buffalo. You just watch that, whatever it is, 2,000 pound animal go crashing down from a single shot. It's great. I would say Leighton, JB. I think Leighton's the best for Moose. Especially now, Balmont is just loaded with them, so if you go in that area, should be able to find plenty. Your top three favorite maps are the three Carnivores games, actually. What? Is Hunter Man still here? What did you tell me about that one? Oh, the, the biggest thing was that it was going to be easier to update. I'm kind of looking forward to that. How do I become a member? I think uh, if you hit the super chat button, there should be like a join option there too. Shot a bison in the brain and didn't hit the skull. There's random glitches. I don't know if the skull doesn't have a hitbox or like what? Maybe there's a specific spot on skulls that don't have a hitbox. I've had it happen before, uh, but I just don't know the cause. Uh, they're going to do the annoying thing, aren't they? Don't, I knew it. We don't even have Rocky here. And they're still lame and fleeing. How boring. At least we're getting most of them. Should have said lame and unintelligent and fleeing. As they all just stand around and let us smoke them. Good enough. Didn't even realize Medved had moose. It's a decent moose map, to be honest. I just, I get most of the cows for some reason. Did you put in for any pronghorn this time? Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to get a tag drawn or just do preference points. I've got a lot going on this fall, so... Not too sure what the move is just yet. I'm going to get a preference point regardless, but... Yeah, I uh, don't know if I'm going to try to get a tag actually there's a gold we shot a seven that should be a gold 
Or did we mess it up? May well have been the case. I mean, again, that's fine. I don't really mind that much, but just would have been nice to claim it for the respawns. Don't know where he would be. Oh, there he is. Well, if we can hit it, we'll go over there. Oh, he definitely hit it. Hunter man got smoked? What? What did I miss? Oh, message deleted. Awkward. Oh, was it a link? I see. How could he? For some reason, the 303 is the most satisfying gun to hear in the game. It's got a nice, like, not too loud, but a solid pop and ring to it. I think it's good. I agree. Opinion on the Cape Buffalo. One of the coolest species that I can't wait for them to get true racks. I think that's going to be a lot of fun chasing Diamond Cape Buffalo again. I hope they don't. I mean, it would probably be a good thing, but I hope they don't nuke my little feed zone. I realize I'm not the first to discover it, but I like to consider it my spot because I go there all the time. Uh, in the southeast down there, it's just such a good spot for them. All the wolves. Big male smoked. Holy. At least it's not a playlist on YouTube. What, the music or? What you mean? Caribou are the best? I just wish they would have made them bigger. They could have made them like way bigger. I really wish they'd have done that. Like this is Yukon. This is land of big caribou, you know? They could have just made them larger. They could leave reindeer as is, because they should actually be a little bit smaller. And then just add some width, add some uh, shovel size, add a little bit of height to the frame. Be good to go. Shurak K-Buffalo would be cool. I don't even expect them to be much different than they are now. Just something a little different. Some kind of bends, twists in the horns. Uh, potentially another diamond variation. Horns animals you don't often get more than two, but black buck have three or four, so maybe. Shot an albino cape buffalo a couple days ago, nice. Okay, uh, we sort of ended up going the wrong direction, so we'll kind of fast travel and fix that. What do you think of caribou? Yeah, like I said, I just, I wish they were bigger. I do want to hunt caribou in real life one day, but we'll make that happen. That's one, like of all the North American hunts that I feel like I have the capability of making them happen, that's the one that I will make happen one day. I don't know how far in the future, but it'll happen. Favorite rare fur type? I guess piebald because of the variation. You know, like, piebald red deer look really good, piebald musk deer and roe deer are fantastic. Uh, piebald... I like what they started doing with, like, pronghorn. They started with mule deer, really. Uh, but pronghorn, rocky mountain elk have multiple piebald variations. That kind of thing is really smart. All such things as that. What yeeting is occurring? I don't know what's going on. It's fine. Best map for a deer. That is kind of a matter of opinion, it seems. I would say Parque Fernando, and the reason is I like the other species there better than Quattro. I think if you just strictly want to hunt red deer, Quattro is a little better. But yeah, while you're hunting red deer on Parque, you can also be running into Axis deer, Mule deer, Black Buck, like cool stuff. Uh, whereas Quattro. Mouflon are cool. Then you sort of got road here and Ibex. I'm just not my kind of species. <laughs> Was that a question about, oh yeah, favorite animal to shoot in real life? Yeah, definitely whitetail. It always will be. Regardless of, you know, wherever 
I may hunt in the future, it's always going to be Whitetail. I always, like, I don't know what exactly the future holds, whether I live near here or not, but I always intend on, like, coming back to hunt at least rifle season with, like, my dad here at, uh, well, on his property. Just, I don't know, it's always been a tradition, and as far as specifically hunting or shooting one species, it's always going to be Whitetail. What's up, Jacob? Another moment with Kyla oofing me. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. A bike obstacle course? That's interesting, Billy. Can you do more of the Hunter Primal? We got another video coming Thursday. I'm trying, by the way. Like, I am... How many hours do I have in the last two weeks in that game? Uh, let me see... Twenty-five. I am trying to get the Battle Worn T-Rex before Thursday so we can basically get ready to spawn the Primal Rex. And basically, those of you that don't know, you need to kill the rare Battle Battle Worn T-Rex. It gives you the item that basically attracts the Primal Rex, and then you can kill that. And that apparently takes like a ton of big gun ammo, but I just I've killed like every other rare in the game. I can't for the life of me find a rare T-Rex. Maybe it'll happen before Thursday. I, like I said, I'm trying, but we'll have to see. I'm going to do Primal regardless. I just specifically want that to happen. I wonder how far... Never mind. All lame commons. Let's not get so far off track that we just never kill another red fox again. We'll just leave those guys go. Floopers now playing Hunter Primal. So what happens is, I do my little run through, I see my like, whatever it tends to be, 6 to 8 T-Rex on the map, and then I close and start again to get fresh ones, because they don't respawn like in Call of the Wild, it's like classic, and like I kill some of them, but you can only see so many. Why do people hate Hirsch? There's, I think, a perceived lack of animals there. It's really not so much that, it's a lot of animals, so there's like, there's two rivers on Hirsch. One kind of runs through like the center of the map, and one sort of north center. A lot of animals drink, rest, and feed along those rivers. They're just in super thick cover and they're tough to see. That's one of the issues with it. But yeah, I mean, like Kyla said, it's a good map, you just need to know how to hunt on it. We, we did a lot better in yesterday's video, we killed the albino fallow. Uh, didn't we kill, yeah, Piebald Red Deer as well? It's good. Can we even get the Hunter Primal now as new players? You can't get it on Steam anymore. Uh, with turkey season going on right now, I haven't really had the time to make the guide that I want to make. I saw the above still here. He was the one that, he just got it recently. Because you can't get it on Steam, the only way to get it is through third-party sites that have game keys. I think G2A was one of them, and the way they were saying to do it is find a seller with like a 95% rating or reputation or whatever, or higher, and get the key from them. It's like 15 bucks usually. Uh, there's always a risk of being scammed doing that, so I just want you to be aware, but that's, like, since I've started doing it, a couple of people have picked it up, and that's the way they've done it. was a hind palo. Where are feral goats on Te Aurora? Uh The river that goes to the center is really good for them in the far north lake. I've killed so many fives up there, it's ridiculous. How do you have gloves? It's the Remy Warren outfit. It's got the gloves. When is your next guide video for Call of the Wild? I feel... Aware, oh, aware and when fox guide is appropriate? If I could kill a diamond fox, maybe I'll do a fox guide. Since I've been on the whole fox grind for a while now. I don't know what I have planned next. I want to do a fallow guide here with uh, Kyla soon. Did we talk about that? Was that a YouTube stream? Or is this the first? Nah, this is the first YouTube stream. So it was the Twitch stream. Basically, uh, when Kyla was here, she recorded like a bunch of stuff about fallow deer. Those of you that don't know, she's got like 
2,500 fallow kills, a bunch of diamonds, uh, rares and stuff in Call of the Wild, like, better fallow knowledge than I would have. But there was a Windows update, and it disabled my microphone. And therefore, all the stuff that she recorded is just running around in Call of the Wild and no sound. So, we gotta figure out a way around that. So never probably, Jay. I, Diamond Fox don't exist. Oh, after watching the video, I gave her a second chance to try to look in the cornfields and found a 9 red fox leaving the zone, quickly changed the time after spawning the zone and came back. 14.7, that's a good one. Nicely done. Uh, when you say next week, Billy, you don't mean next stream, you mean, like, next week being, what, the week of the first? 20 minutes gone, at least I went and got drinks. Maybe leave and everything. Is there any diamonds you don't have? I don't have a diamond red fox on the new scoring system. I've had three in the past. Three? Uh, or is it two? I swear it was three, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, one of them was on the beginner account, so it, it barely counts to begin with. It was probably awful. It wasn't awful. We'll, uh, we'll try to do it through Discord or something. We'll figure something out. We'll find a way. Next week, I gotcha. So that means kill my 200 before you do that. Not this Wednesday. Gotcha. How many kills are you into the fox grind? Around 700. I've, I've somewhat lost count just because of the fact that I've been doing like a lot of turkey hunting and then I was prepping videos for when Kyla was out here. I've done just very little fox grinding. My right, right click is doing that and that's insane. But anyway, uh, yeah, we were at 600 and we've done two fox streams and I've hunted them a little bit since, so it should be about 700. How many rares did I get on the whitetail grind? I... It was about the same as diamonds. I think maybe eight? Seven or eight? There were a albino and piebald diamond whitetail, which was insane. Um, at least two gold piebald whitetail and one gold albino. So that's five. I definitely remember a spike albino, so that would be six. And I'm just going to guess, I don't remember them, but I'm going to guess there was another one here or there. Uh, yeah, Tortilla, that's great. That's how they, that's how they work. Are you going to post on Friday and Monday? I only do streams on Friday and Monday. So Monday is the live stream here on YouTube. Friday is a live stream over on Twitch, both called the Wild Streams. What animal do you think is the easiest to get diamonds? I'd say Bethidia's Ibex, personally. When are we going to know what the new map is? I'm going to guess within two weeks. My whole reasoning for saying that, number one is the fact that we're getting clues. But number two is usually kind of late June is when the new maps drop. So we got to be around a month away. In which case, we should know what it is fairly soon. What if the pick of the mountain on Leighton is included tar? I'm not sure how that connects with the gourd, though. That... I'm not sure if there's a logic train that works for that one. Another stupid zoom, I'm back. Welcome back, man. We're just out here running through the brush at this point. The big male numbers have dwindled, but there's still stuff out there. For me, Blacktail make diamond the easiest, 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 other than level ones. Do you mean class ones, probably? Guessing that's what you were getting at. There's a fox, even a male. Downwind, so he's almost inevitably tiny. Eh, I mean. We've seen worse today. Cool. You didn't get a male whitetail? Uh, I killed one. 
Not on the Great One grind. I killed one... Man, not too long after True Axe came out for them. I think it was a gold, even. It was a decent size one, I don't remember. Clutch time, Jacob. Clutching a diamond red fox would be on new level of big mail, I must say. I'm gonna get this sewn just so we have it. Might be useful to us. Clutch mail. After one month, I finally get to see a live stream. Glad you can make it, dude. We only have about 10 minutes left, but I'm hoping we can manage a couple more kills. Got a couple more tracks, that's for sure. Me hanging around. I haven't shot like a single moose on Yukon in so long. I'm sure they're all just small lame males. Actually, the last moose I shot may well have been that albino on the fox ground that just ran past us. I thought it was the doe. I did kill a mountainistic uh, white-tailed doe pretty recently in multiplayer. It was the bow hunt, actually. The the hunt where we killed the diamond riddles of an elk. But yeah, we killed a mountainistic buck, I think, in single player. It was in a weird spot, too. It was up by uh, Willipeg. Not with the way you shoot. Thanks, Palo. I always appreciate the votes of confidence. Now we're going down here to where we've already been. Uh, since we've not reset the, or, well, change maps, I don't imagine there's any respawns there. Of course, we've been to most of the good fox area anyway, so... Where do we go? What do we do? I'd say we go here. See if there's anything over there. I heard you had to say big mail twice and spin around in the game three times to get a diamond fox. I heard you just have to not be on my map. Twins with a mellow doe? I didn't have anyone try to steal mine, fortunately, but yes. Struggling for whitetail diamonds, I've had one level three and three level two diamonds. I just look out on the trophy score, I get nice estimates though. I mean, it doesn't sound like you're struggling if you have like four diamonds, unless you're trying to get like 12. What is the max weight estimate for Springbuck 38 to 42 kg? Wish I could run and claim at the same time on console. You can now. Uh, was it Teo Roa that introduced the auto run feature with console? As long as you're auto running, you can get that. This is going to be a 55 to 67 male. This wolf has been on my map for forever. I never see him, but I get his track. And then I don't kill him. It's great. Well, that's unfortunate. I think the one and only male already fled. It's fine. This is why you don't have a diamond fox? Because I'm on my own map? Ten fox is how many I need to kill? You said you killed ten fox and then got your diamond? What a life. It'll happen. I was in the SRP stream, asked about Mellas and got a Mella male gold Euro Rabbit. Nice, dude. Glad it worked. I don't remember what I said to do, but I'm glad it worked. How do you auto run? Uh, is it double click the left stick? I don't remember. Somebody on console can tell you. I don't, I don't remember how to do it. Something with clicking the sticks. Dang, Jay. That ain't a bad deal. When I got my diamond links, I killed over 458 lynxes. Yeah, and they're not ones that you kill a bunch of at one time, so I'm sure that took a while. Can imagine. You won't do the ritual. You won't make me do the ritual. Would there be any sense of letdown if you get a diamond fox on multiplayer instead of your own map? Not so much letdown as... What's the word? Like, almost a feeling of wasted time in single player, but it would mostly be relief. There, there was probably a point in which I would have been kind of let down, but it's gone on long enough now. You know, 700 Red Fox, I just want the diamond. I don't care where it comes from. 
That should be a guaranteed gold, by the way. Double click the left stick. I tried. Do you, th do you think it's double click the left stick, Palo? I'm kind of thinking that might be what it is. Nobody told me this? Yeah, it came out uh, quite some time ago. Wow. The minimum estimate was 10, and it's 10.1. Huge. Are beige cinnamon tails rare? They're just a uncommon uh, female variation. What's the best advice to get easy diamonds? I would probably just shoot all your Bethesda Zybex on Quattro and rinse and repeat. Go get them. Just want that big mail, but I've stopped the grind because I'm scared I might miss it at a spot and then not realize that it vanishes off my map. I'm, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Until I'm convinced they fixed that, it's hard for me to put in the same amount of hours that I was in the past. Maybe it'll be fixed. Hopefully soon. They, they talked about it, so maybe they've kind of gotten to the bottom of it, but that's been a prevalent issue for like a year. As far as I know, that issue was actually there when we got ours. I just happened to never go out of its render, essentially. How are you getting 1400 for a silver fox? Are there perks for it or something? Also, it is double click left. Um, I think, yeah, all red fox give around 1400 as long as you don't mess up the quick kill and stuff. Kind of what it comes down to. What kind of match do you think it's common? Wait, what? I'm missing something. It's a scary thought. Yeah, to put in that much time and then, you know, get the result you want, but sort of be unable to sort of ultimately get it. That would just be huge pain. Don't need that. Don't need it. Gotta be fixed. Oh, nice rocks. Looks like more foxy hunting for you, as always. At least it gives me something to do. I can't complain about that part. I don't really know what I'd be doing outside of maybe looking for an albino female wolf. I've kind of stopped the albino Sika grind because they don't seem to respawn. Uh, I guess a second great one grind at some point. There's not a ton of things that I'm really trying to do. It's a nice kind of sunset thing. Gonna do all the missions for now though and hunt for small game trophies? That'll be a fun little change of pace, I think. Do all hunting structures reduce hunting pressure or just tripods? I'll do. Uh, even the permanent ones, so like the stands and blinds you can build, ground blinds, tree stands, uh, yeah, tripods, all that stuff. Why aren't you using Rocky? Um, it really hasn't happened today. But on the off chance that we would get attacked by a pack of wolves, I didn't want his brave trait to kick in and have him actually scare them off. So I just wanted to kill more wolves and get more wolf respawns, but they haven't been the most cooperative. How many diamonds do you have? I actually don't even know. <laughs> Not sure what the count is. Uh, so it's minus 300 from this from when the codex was bugged. So, 737. Interesting number. Why are there only Great One Whitetail? My guess is essentially that they've planned all along on doing more Great One species, but they've had so many issues with Whitetail that they've been trying to nail that down first and fix it before they try to go and do other ones. And assuming they do get it fixed, I think we'll see more going forward, but. Yeah, as of right now, I would guess the reason there aren't more a year later is simply because whatever spawning mechanism they use is just a little bit bugged. What was that about, Jay? I clearly missed some. Why am I randomly buffering? Because internet strugs. All internet strugs. Gonna end up getting off here, so I hope you have a good stream. Thank you, man. We're gonna track down this red fox and probably be wrapping up, so not gonna be missing a whole lot. Appreciate you hanging out. Arthur, great one, caribou and reindeer. That was a bug. So I'm not sure 
how it got messed up exactly. But the way that Great Ones were being calculated was if the animal scored above what was supposed to be the max possible score. Because I saw somebody hack that in with an elk too that was uh, showing Great One. So somehow reindeer and caribou could go above what their max possible score was supposed to be. And when that happened, they were registering as a Great One. But uh, caribou crashed the game. Reindeer actually had the old legacy diamond rack for them. It was interesting. The elk that somebody hacked in that became a great one had legacy diamond antlers too, which is weird. Like, why it does that, I have no idea. It defaults to that, but yeah, that was a bug. There are no legit great one caribou or reindeer. Anyway, we probably managed, I don't know, 10, 12 fox a day? Something like that? More like 15, probably? Not too bad. The evening is definitely something to consider for this. Not to look into it going forward, and it's a whole lot nicer than hunting at night, but that is going to do it for the stream. I'm going to try and get out and turkey hunt yet this evening, so no time to go and chase more red fox, but hopefully the more we do this, the more progress we make, the closer we get to an eventual diamond. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for the support, thanks for hanging out, and I will hopefully see you in tomorrow's video, which, by the way, is an IRL turkey hunt, so hope you guys are looking forward to that. Bye!